I don't know if that looks like enough. NZXT has been overhauling their entire lineup of cases with the fairly new H series of cases. And although these are very beautiful, they do compromise on airflow for the specific look they're going for. Now I made a video a while back about how much of a difference it makes adding intake fans into the NZXT S340 because, well, it doesn't come with them, which shows that even NZXT doesn't think that they make that much of a difference. Now, with the S340 being replaced by the NZXT H500, I decided to investigate and see how much of a difference it makes for this series of cases. Now, for these tests, I'm going to use the Noctua NFF12s, and if these fans don't make a difference, nothing will, because they're generally considered as some of the best fans on the planet. It's because they're PWM, I set them at a constant fan curve of 70 75% for all temperatures, so it means they were running at about a thousand RPM through all of the tests. I ran them in several configurations in each of the cases, I ran them with no fans at all in the front, and then one in the top, one in the bottom, and then two in the front, and I did the same for the H500. Now I didn't run all of the tests without the front panel on, because unfortunately because of how the H500 is designed, you can't remove the front panel and do the tests like that, and I thought it would be fairly pointless to do it with the S340 if I couldn't with the H500. If you are interested in these results, do look at the video that I did on the S340 alone, because I did the tests there, and it shows how much the actual front panel constricts airflow. As for the actual components that I used for the test, As for the actual software that I used to push the PC, I used IDA64 for the CPU and Fermark for the GPU, and I ran the two of these for 15 minutes and then took the actual temperatures. I didn't run them for longer because I'm not using an AIO, and the temperatures stabilized at the max temperature after about six minutes, so any longer than that would have been pointless. And then I let the system cool down all the way to idle before I ran the test in a different configuration. As for the actual room temperature, this is probably where the biggest variations would have been in the tests because I don't have a way of keeping a 100% consistent room temperature. Although when I did all the tests, I was I did have my aircon at 20 degrees Celsius and I did run it for all day to try and get the room an even temperature of 20 degrees uh, to try and get the most accurate test results possible. Okay, and with that, I think I pretty much covered all of my test methodology. So let's have a look at the actual temperatures. And as you can see, it seems to make pretty much no difference adding fans to any of the configurations. The only one that made a little bit of a difference was the two fans in the front of the H500. Uh, in that case, there was about a three degree drop in the CPU temperature. And I don't think that this was down to room temperature variation because the GPU temperature was still exactly the same at 71 degrees Celsius. But is that three degree difference really worth two not to our NFF12s? I personally don't think so. And then, just for the hell of it, I decided to run the tests again, but with the fans at 100% speed, with both of them in the front of the H500. And again, it made no difference. Now, with all of the temperature tests out of the way, I thought I'd just do a brief comparison between the S340 and the H500 to see how much of an upgrade the H500 actually is. And it is quite a big upgrade in certain ways. I like the way it looks more. I prefer the kind of half glass, half chassis look. I think it looks cleaner. When it comes to cable management, they did upgrade the H500 slightly by adding these kind of cable channels around the back, but honestly, except for the 8-pin, which I think does make sense, I don't think it makes sense in that area around the 24-pin, especially if you use extension cables, because then you have that kind of big 24-pin plug that doesn't fit in the channel, so you have to run the whole cable next to it. So in the end of the day, you just have like a couple of front I.O. cables coming down that channel, and I think it's a bit pointless. I do really like the bracket that they added to the front of the case so that you can easily install and 
remove fans and radiators and stuff. And then finally, there's the best thing about the case. The front panel connectors don't use these annoying little pins that you have to try and plug into really irritatingly. It's got a USB 2 style plug that you just plug straight into your motherboard and then it's finished. Thank you so much for doing this NZXT. I don't know why other case manufacturers haven't done this 20 years ago because those little plugs are super irritating. But everything isn't all amazing. There are a couple of points in which I think the H500 is actually a bit of a downgrade from the S340 Elite. The first thing is that it doesn't have a bracket that you screw to your power supply, and then you can easily fit your power supply to the case, which I think is a bit of a letdown. It makes building that little bit easier. And what's also a bit weird is that the front panel has actually received a downgrade for when it comes to front IO. So you've only got two USB 3 ports now, whereas the S340 Elite had two USB to, to USB 3 and then an HDMI cable which some people might find useful and I think it's quite a nice addition. With the temperature tests and the brief comparisons between the two cases out the way, I think I can conclude this video fairly comfortably. When it comes to airflow, the cases are very similar and even feature-wise they're very similar. So if you have an S340 Elite, there's pretty much no point upgrading to the H500. If you're in the market for a new case, I would recommend the H500 it's a great case. It's not as good as the Fractal Design Mesh of IC. That was the most pleasant building experience I've ever had in a case before. So in that kind of price category, I think that's the one to go for. But its looks are a little bit controversial. And if that's an issue for you, honestly, the fans don't make a difference, but the airflow is acceptable. It's not like the temperatures are completely crazy in the case. And in the next week or so, I'm going to upload a time lapse of me moving the PC over from the S340 into the H500. And there's going to be some sick B roll in there, as the kids say. So I'll either have it linked up here if it's out already, or subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss that. And on that note, if you like this, video, do subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment about it being nice, or if you don't like it, do the opposite of those things. And until the next one, bye bye.